All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakar HaKurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at GMS that told me this word. Peace, honor, respect to you, brothers that's out there laboring, edifying, rightly dividing the word and truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you, believers out there, the Akin Wa Agwati. And so, uh, what I want to go into right now is the power of prayer, okay? The power of prayer, prayer power, okay? Because prayer is basically like the umbilical cord, um, you know, from us to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, all right? Because the angels, you know, they take our prayers up there, all right? And we need our prayers to crack the clouds, okay? As scripture say, all right? And I was just, you know, because I, um, from time to time, you know, I'll be having lessons in my head and I jot them down. And if I got a precepts, I jot them down with the lessons. And this was one of the lessons that I, uh, when I went into my, um, you know, my little book of lessons of what I could, you know, uh, Lord willing, edify you guys with, you know, excuse me, I ran into this lesson and I was just meditating on it. And uh, the power of prayer is, is very powerful, all right? I'm pretty sure you brothers and sisters out there got a testimony on the power of prayer, okay? You probably was going through some, oh, I needed, you know, a couple dollars on my rent. I ain't have it. I prayed, and the Lord made a way. I mean, it's, it's so many examples where the power of prayer, you know, uh, a lot of people have a testimony on that. So, you know, I got a couple scriptures. All right, so... Uh, when you go to the book of James, chapter 1, starting at verse 5, what do it say? If any of you lack wisdom, all right, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in these scriptures, all right? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally, okay? Because the scriptures say, you know, uh, freely as he given, freely you should give, roughly paraphrasing, all right? Meaning, I, you know, I don't want to defer you know get too much off topic but basically you know when you receive this wisdom knowledge and understanding if it's your life to teach then you should be a teacher all right but uh verse five again if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of the most high that he that give to all men liberally and upbraid of not and it shall be given him but let him ask in faith all right in faith because without faith you know hey it's nothing all right nothing wavering all right so you can't come you know and it's got a lot to do with your confidence and your confidence come from being more obedient to your how about shim all right not you know uh offending less all right continuing on in verse six it said nothing wavering for he that waver wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind with the wind and tossed for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord, okay? So if you wavery, you, uh, you know, because that's why the scripture tell you, don't let your sins weigh you down because sometimes you might, you know, be going off or in certain type of ways. And then when it comes to praying, you have a, a different uh, approach, okay? You have a different confidence versus when you're more obedient in the spirit. And you know, you brothers and sisters, that's, been in the truth long enough, can, you know what I'm talking about when you make your prayers, okay? When you've been going off versus when you feel like, you know, because, hey, all our, our righteousness is filthy rags. But as opposed to you, you know, uh, offending less, then you have a different confidence, okay? And um, another thing, matter of fact, let me get that. When you make a prayer, all right? So when you go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, uh, verse 14, what do it say? Use not many words in the multitude of elders and make not much babbling when thou prayest, all right? So you shouldn't just be babbling away, you know, when you're making your prayer. You know, you want to be precise and to the point, okay? If it's something you want to ask for, ask for it. If you need help, ask for the help. Don't just be going babbling and babbling and um you know you want to not make many repetition lord please lord you know asking a hundred times the lord already know what you're gonna ask for 
before you even ask for it, all right? Because uh, you already know he put it in your mind, all right? Let me see. I got just a couple scriptures, quick, something to uh, meditate on, you know? Because like I said, the power of prayer is very powerful. And speaking to myself, first and foremost, uh, we all can pray more, all right? Because I make it a habit to at least pray in the morning before I go out my door and to pray before I go to sleep, all right? But scriptures say, really it's good to pray three times a day and even more if you want to, all right? Because like I said, that's basically our umbilical cord to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, all right? But you don't want to just be, like scriptures say, babbling. You don't want to be wavering, all right? And you don't want to make vain repetition, as the scriptures say, all right? So when you go to Psalms, all right, because we all, hey, we all can do some more praying, all right, but just follow the scriptures, okay? That's why I'm making this lesson. So when you go to Psalms 55 and uh, 17, it says, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. My voice. Yeah, see? Evening, okay, morning and noon, all right? That's three times a day, all right? And see, when you go to the book of Daniel, all right? Because when you go to the book of Daniel, the sixth chapter, all right, this is when the uh, the presidents and the princes, okay, they came to King Darius to make a decree, okay? This is before he got thrown in the lion's den. All right, because Daniel, he he had favor with the king and they didn't like that. Okay, so they went to King Darius to uh, make a decree that if any man within a... So like, we up in 30 days, make a petition to any man or God besides him, besides the king. Hey, they be, you know, off, they be thrown into the, to the lion's den. They be killed. Okay. Because they wanted to, um, it was going into the, according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, okay? Because, like I said, they didn't like Daniel. Because they couldn't find fault with him, okay? But, but, listen to this, okay? Psalms 55, what did it say? Evening, morning, and noon. So when you go to Daniel, chapter 6, verse 10, it says, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, when the, the king signed the decree, because King Darius, he didn't know that they was trying to trap Daniel up. All right. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber towards Jerusalem. Toward, you know, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his power. OK, as he did a four time. All right. So even in morning and noon. OK. Daniel was praying three times a day, all right? And now we're about to go to uh, uh, oh no, it's like, bear with me. We'll go to the book, go to Acts, all right, the 16th chapter to get this account on the power of prayer, all right? And this is, uh, let's see where we at, 16. Yeah, because this is Apostle Paul, because, uh, you know, Paul, he was arrested, you know, basically for preaching the word, uh, preaching uh, about Yahweh Shah, all right? <laughs> and that wasn't well liked, just like today, all right? When you preach the true, uh, the true uh, um, and purest form of Yahweh Shah returning and what he, uh, what he demands from you. And uh, how he need to be reverenced. People don't like that. All right. <laughs> so when you go to Acts 16, starting at verse 16, it says, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, okay, and a damsel is a woman, <laughs> a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. All right. And the same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are, are the servants of the Most High God, 
which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. See? All right? Because Paul, you know, his faith was on high. All right? <laughs> uh, verse 21. Wait, it's like it. Uh, verse 19. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace, into the rulers, and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city, see, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans, all right? <laughs> the Romans, that's the Medemites. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they laid, had, when they had laid many strikes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. All right, so they threw they threw Paul and Silas in 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 in, in the joint, you know. All right, but it was in righteousness, okay, because they was preaching. All right, they was preaching about Yahweh Shah, and they seen them, you know, uh, getting unclean spirits out of you know. The lady, that unclean spirit. All right. So uh, verse 23 again. And when they had laid many strikes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely, who have been received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. All right. So shackled them up by the feet. Okay. And at midnight, Paul and si Silas prayed. Okay. Again, at, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto the Most High. And the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. See? And that's the proud power of prayer, all right? They prayer cracked the, the clouds, okay? Because they was praying, they were singing praises to Yahweh. Okay, and a hey, that that earthquake happened and, and got them out of there, and that's the power of prayer. Okay, which the power of prayer in these times coming ahead, in every time, okay, in every time, but especially in the times that we coming into, which is Jacob's trouble, the power of prayer is going to be much needed. Okay, and best believe the Lord select. Okay, their prayers will be um. Their prayers will be answered, okay? Because one thing about it, even, I know you brothers and sisters can attest, even before you came to the truth, you know, um, the Lord always been with you, okay? You done made, before you came to this truth, you had certain prayers uh, that you, you know, you petitioned to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and them prayers was answered right on the spot, like a miracle. Because it's, no, it's really nothing to the Lord, okay? And, Lord willing, we be of that precious number, meaning the elect. We w that mean we really was, a. Hey, <laughs> we had our special angels. The Lord kept a, a, a special eye on us, okay? Lord willing, we be an elect. And that's why certain situations that you've been through, when you had uh, the power of prayer, uh, a, hey, it got you out of that situation, all right? And you was comforted. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there, Lord willing, it was edifying to the next lesson. Shalom.